It's almost the end of the world. How do I celebrate? I play fucking Pac-Man. That's how I celebrate the end of the world. And that's because it's the shortest game I own. I really... Pac-Man Arrangements. It's a short game, so I can get it done. But it's not incredibly short to the point where I'll get it done too early. I might have to do this 10 minute episodes. If I do these 10 minute episodes, the episode will be cut off in the middle. I'm sorry if that happens. Also, I spent two minutes recording for my uh, dawn of the whatever day scenes. Zelda, it's a long game. So, uh, Pac-Man arrangements. How do I describe this game? Um, it's Pac-Man, and it's arranged! No, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, seriously. This is a, uh, possibly one of the easiest Pac-Man games. Also one of the only ones with an end to the game in levels. And all kinds of improvements, like dashing. We're going like rainbow dashing. Mm -hmm, you see what I did there? You see what I did there? I don't know anymore. There's only truly one ghost that bothers me. That's if the orange ghost grows from the yellow ghost. And if he grows... Oh, this music. This is one of them classic songs that brings a lot of nostalgia to me. Oh, please don't be the fat guy. Oh, no. Please don't be the orange. Oh, thank God. So the blue dude, if he gets doubled in size, he'll become like a, uh, a ghost who can split in half, I guess. The pink one becomes like a bunny ghost who... Um, the blue one's Clyde. Uh, Clyde becomes a... No, red one's Clyde. I don't know. The red one becomes a bull. Blue one becomes like a double ghost. And the bull can dash whenever he wants. And then the pink one becomes a jumping bunny ghost. You can jump wherever they want, which is a later mechanic of the game. And the orange one pukes up more dots to eat. This also continues in this game. Really useful. <laughs> right there. You see where I'm sucking. I don't play Pac-Man for a living. Part 2. More dashing. This reminds me the most of a classic Pac-Man level right here. It's like the little neon whatever. I don't think I'm like this idiot who doesn't know anything about Pac-Man. I am actually, if anybody... I know quite a bit about Pac-Man. Not exactly very good at it, but I know all the storylines and stuff, so... I'm no tard. That wasn't the end? Oh, my last Pac-Man, okay. Don't you eat me! Or hurt me! Yeah, these episodes might be a little short, but again, I need to make this work for the end of the world joke. And I know there's no end of the world, don't think I'm actually believing that shit. But if anybody is wondering, if it's somebody watching this in 2013 or later, and you're wondering what the whole dawn of the first day Majora's Mask joke's all about, um, basically, um, speaking in the past, speaking about the past at the, when it's the present, this is very weird. Um, Basically, in 2012, according to the Mayan calendar, the world was supposed to end. It obviously didn't. And, um, oh shit. And basically, when this is recorded, when this is uploaded, not recorded, um, the world is supposed to end three days from now. And I'm, that's exactly how Majora's Mask's story goes, is the world is going to end in three days, and Link has to save the world in three days before the moon crashes into it and destroys the place. So I was basically making a Zelda joke out of this end of the world thing. And, um, I think somebody on iFunny already made the joke. I, I can't remember where I saw it at, but I thought, oh, I gotta make a LP about that and started off like that. So this game. <laughs> I'm only on World 1 still. This might be a longer LP than I want it to be.
than I prefer. These dots are crazy. Also, the jumping mechanic I mentioned earlier has finally started playing its role, so that's cool. <laughs> what? I just... I just walked through that ghost. Okay, then. Uh, I was gonna use Kirby's Dream Land, which I already have recorded, but no, you didn't. There's an orange ghost spawning more dots. He's not that bad of a ghost. I mean, his dots aren't hard to get or anything. Oh, I'm invisible. Okay. Or faster. Okay, that works too. So there are power-ups in this version rather than just bonus points. That fat guy is creepy, by the way. I don't know why. He just his face is like nom nom nom. nom. I want some magic beans. I'm just gonna... Oh, this music. Oh, man. Also, this this game has a lot of variety in the world. It's more than just the classic Pac-Man world. This is supposed to be like an improvement off of Pac-Man or like Pac-Man 2 or some shit. And I don't know when this was originally released or if this was originally made for this Game Boy. Because I'm playing this on the Game Boy collection of Pac-Man games. And I don't know if this was originally made for the collection or if it was like legitly a game at some point you bought. For like your Genesis or whatever. But I love it. I don't care what anyone says. This is a great game. Very, very underrated. Very underknown. Nobody heard, nobody's heard of this game. I mean, you go to a, you go to ask someone if they've heard of Pac-Man Arrangement. They're most likely going to say no. And it's a shame, because I enjoy it. That guy is going to become the major ghost dude to the level. one is one that makes them uh, permanent ghosts or something. No, double speed and ghost power, okay. I am very good at this game, apparently. And like I said, this might be a cutoff right here pretty soon. So I'm not going to say it's the end of the episode, but if it does happen to become the end of the episode... I'm sorry, and and I'll make an intro, fake intro, at 10 minutes, just like a fake intro, like I said. How am I gonna do? How am I gonna label this? Like I labeled Curse of the Pumpkin Prince as my Halloween special. I'm gonna call this my End of the World special, by the way. It'll be like, um, Curse of the Pumpkin Prince, Halloween special, in parentheses, and it's gonna be like, um, then comes, uh, whatever I do for Christmas, in Christmas special, parentheses. I haven't done a Thanksgiving special, so I didn't really feel like it. <laughs> and then there's this. Then there's this game. End of the World special. As you can see, I'm very sucky at this game, but, like, I'm never really good at any Pac-Man game, so this is no exception. Like I said, this is the easiest one, simply because messing up doesn't screw you over in the long run. Maybe for Christmas I'll play Pac-Man. Pac-Mania, is it? Pac-Mania? It's one of the other ones in this little Game Boy thing. Oh, downhill. I think this game is the only reason anyone should buy this Game Boy package, though. Like, I don't know about you guys who also happen to have had this Pac-Man collection on their Game Boy. Or this game, but I got, like, hours of fun out of this game. Like, when I was a little kid playing Game Boy in the car on the way to places, this was the game I played. Like, there's always that one game that you had to play in your Game Boy when you were going somewhere. This is that one game. This and Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamlands, or any of my Kirby games in general, because I've obviously been a fan of the series for a long time growing up because um, it's obviously it's obviously that one game that got me into gaming and that's why I have to respect it and show it my 
Gratitude. Get in that bag. That was very awkward. That one guy, Frank here, something like that. <laughs> also, it was the end of the episode. Now, this is all cut it off if I have to make a 10 minute episode. 